should include at least HDFS and MR. HDFS is for what? It's a file system where you can store the data, data. Yeah. 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 data. It's a distributed data, also reliable, the file system. This file system running on top of the existing Unicode system, existing operating system, existing file system also. So that is the reason we need to use the head command to upload or download the data. And also, on the other hand, the MI is the programming system. Okay, this is the parallel programming system. Okay, so this consists of two pieces. One is the mapper, another one is the widget. So we try to distribute the job by the block. Okay, then should be able to read the input and output. So we have the intermediate output, and the widgets will collect the uh, data and apply the algorithm. In addition to the mapper and widgets, so there are several more comp additional components like the partitioner, which can distribute the data, which reduces uh, the data, the intermediate data goes on, and another one is the combined. Combiner is a kind of mini reducer to reduce the uh, workload of the uh, reducer. So that is the Hadoop core. The main problem of the, this one, probably you uh, did the core flow with the program, main reduce program in the exercise lab, like the word count and word average. I already upload the solution of the program, main reduce program that you tested in the classroom. Okay, in the canvas you can download right now. So, however, even though this is a very high high level programming, still hard, right? Especially those who are not familiar with Java programming. Okay, also the parallel programming. It's not easy, but many of the developer or the student or people they are familiar with other. Database memory systems such as the Oracle, Informix, DB2, or MySQL. One of the main reasons why these kind of the relational database memory systems are popular is it has very, very easy and nice interface. SQL language. SQL language is still. Uh, even though you do not understand, you do not know anything about the database system, you can use the SQL language which consists of select from. That's it. Right? This, to the closest requirement, you can just list up the column, you can just list up the table. If you have condition, well, if you need to group by, you can group by. Or you can go order. That's it. So it's very simple. That was the reason, actually, the long, long time. It's not long, long time ago when the relational database uh, requires the uh, legacy system, which means the centralized database system, where the hierarchical database system. This SQL was used for not developer, not computer science people, but it was for. Actually, who? End user, who is the end user? It's a computer no, science no, 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 no. It's a developer? No. The data analysis, or a statistician, or a businessman, especially for the, the CPA or the accountant, they use the such a language without any knowledge of the computer science. Why? They want to access the data. That's the main uh, purpose of using database system. So, but without, before that, they need to know program. They need to know how to access the data. Like the, so it was very, very complicated. So they cannot do that, but well, after relational database management system was popular and boomer, they can use just the first simple. The uh, SQL language. That was the reason it was popular. So it's the same thing here. So when we access the data, everybody knows that the uh, header is cheap and the reliability can handle much, much bigger data size, amount of data size than 
the traditional system, but still not easy to code the map MR program. Okay? So is there any way to address such a problem? It was uh, realized in the even Google and Facebook, Yahoo. Actually, these the uh, the internet based company read this big data system, Hadoop system. Okay, as you have read in the reading assignment, first and second reading assignment is was published by the Google. Actually, Google uh, the proposed the Google file system as well as the map reduce programming, even the big cable. Okay, that we are going to discuss uh, today, the so, uh, H base. So. Is there any better way? Better means a simple, easy simple. way. Yeah. So they try to borrow the idea of the structured query language. So which means when instead of the mapper or driver coding the Java file and uh, define in the Java file, define the input type or the output type mm -hmm. and uh, your algorithm, why don't we use the this? Interface, which means I try to access the Shakespeare, the .txt file. So from Shakespeare, the .txt file. Mm -hmm. So let I try to access only the first column, comma separated mm -hmm. first column as the line number for them. But this line number is has the second column is the text file, or mm -hmm. for example. The A, starting A, okay, and group by. Yeah. So such an interface. So then this is used for one of the way to access Hadoop file system. This is called the Hive. Hive is the beehive. So like that. I don't know who uh, the name is, but the anyway, so it's traditionally the Hadoop ecosystem. The name after the animal or <laughs> the related one, right? So that is a probably reason it's named as hype. That doesn't mean this, even though they are using the SQL, that doesn't mean they use relational model. Inside, it's not database actually, it's just a file system, it's just a file. You can actually think about. You, for example, you have the text file. This text file has the, the number and last name and the address. How can you read the, this text file in your program? So you need to open this, the full.txt file, R open, or F open as a read. Then we need to read from the beginning byte 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 until the new line character. Mm -hmm. So whenever you have the Smith Smith. space, so you can get the, this one as the first column yeah. or add there's something like that. You need to read it. Instead of this, why don't you implement the kind of the query legacy of your text file? Mm -hmm. So using lexical analysis, if you already took the compiler course, if you took the compiler course, you probably learned. The how to uh, do the lexical analysis that is you can read byte by byte and the reserved word can be taken as a token something like that. So it's not very difficult in your so the compiler program. So you need a select. So select the from file name and select the column. First column, second column, third column, separate by the this one. Instead of the programming, you can use a, such an interface. You can implement it. So SQL language is not only for the relational database, it fit to the relational database model, but it can be used for other data access. So similarly, we can apply this idea to the Hadoop system. Then what happened when you learn the, this kind of high? So for example, Instead of the map reduce programming, we can even create a table. Mm -hmm. Create table means create a file in HDFS. Okay, you can create a file using the API, given API in your map reduce program. And location is input.dat. 
is a lo local file. Mm -hmm. into, you can upload, put into the text. Okay, with text, it has a just a word string, line by line, separate by the line, and, and select word, count of word, or group by word. Okay? So, this is, uh, looks like the SQL style, SQL interface, but when you learn the, this one, it's not like the relational database. Instead, it will be converted into the math reduced programming that you learn. Okay? It's just interface. So actually, without using the math reduced O and the API, you cannot access, you cannot create a file. Okay? That's the only way. But outside is SQL is used then. This SQL will be converted into map reduced program. Sometimes one select from where will be converted into seven one a map reduced program. Mm -hmm. Okay. Think about the, when you have the one table, two table, three table join. It may not easy in map reduced program. So it will be converted into several map reduced program. So that is the, this one. But in other words, instead of a bunch of <laughs> map reduced program, it will take uh, several days to code. You can just uh, run just a one simple select from where or the, the SQL language. <laughs> it, you can reduce the time to implement. <laughs> However, problem is what? There are many map reduces. There are many methods and reducer. In other words, it's not easy to optimize yes. the performance. Definitely, this kind of approach, instead of using ML program directly, so if you use the SQL language as an interface, this will be com should be converted into the ML program, right? No, and access the data, and return the data, and return to the interface. It's overhead. Yeah. It's a slower, definitely slower than the original MI program. In terms of performance, definitely slow. Sometimes it is that four or five times slow. So it, uh, that's the one power. Okay. So we will see details about uh, such a high. However, for those who do not know anything about this one, instead of the training. All the employees, for example, Yahoo has the 10,000 employees uh, for develop, yeah. developer, as a developer. So they decide to replace their system by the Hadoop system with the MR programming. You spend a lot of money, okay, to train all the employees, right? Employees. So instead of training, instead of the let uh, them know about the programming, so why don't you de develop the SQL, yes. which is already familiar with it, yes. okay? Simple. Then they can save a lot of time. So that is the main purpose. Actually, this is a Facebook. And Yahoo realized the same thing, same problem, exactly same problem, okay? When after uh, the cutting, uh, after the Google, Publish their idea of the GFS and the map videos. Yahoo accept the decide to use the Hadoop system for their uh, the system at the time. It, this was the big problem. So they developed the another interface that is called the Pig. It's from the Pig Latin script language. Pig Latin is kind of a game actually, analogy game. Like the, in case of pig, it's a, something like that. They change the consonant, move the consonant into the, it's kind of word game for kid. It's called a pig Latin. I think that in your own language, there is a, there are similar, right? So yeah. usually kids or teenagers, they do not say as it is. They change or add some the vowel at the end of the word. It's called the pig Latin. So there are script languages that 
uh, name after such a big Latin name, which is a big Latin I never used, but this, the Yahoo, uh, the used such a big Latin, uh, the script language for new interface, that is called the P. Actually, this is the very powerful, this is a very powerful script language, it's a straightforward. If you see the sample of the P script, you can understand right away. Okay. It's easier than actually the uh, SQL. So that is also very powerful in follow the data flow. Okay. So, it's, so as long as you have the understand of the data flow diagram, it's easy. Then this pig latin will be converted into ML programming function. Okay? Then people the they don't have to learn. Actually, in your project, you can you guys can use the either this one and this one Same and you don't have to yeah. the do the ML programming which is not allowed yeah. for you. <laughs> <laughs> but in Edit after you implement the, this one, so you it's still uh, additional you can try this. Yeah. It's very simple. So even when you upload the data, you don't have to use this one from the local file system. You can create the table, actually create the HDFS file using the type using the DEDL command, create the table that you learned in your advanced database course. But for your better experience, I'm going to accept the primary, the MI, original mm -hmm. MI program. So it's developed in the base group, the line, the P Latin P uh, was developed by the Yahoo. It's a SQL style. It's a little bit di different approach. It's a SQL style. Those who are that doesn't mean HDF has the relational model. No, it's not relational model. Mm -hmm. They just borrow the idea of the SQL interface as an interface. Several times I actually assigned a project in the advanced database to implement such a uh, interface language. Sometimes it can be menu driven interface or the command line interface. It's not very difficult uh, to implement this. Uh, as if you have the knowledge or experience on the compiler. Compiler, I think, the one of the important the computer science subjects. And what language do you use to implement such an interface? A C program. C program. C is enough. For, especially for the uh, interface language, C language is enough because you don't have to access the uh, machine or hardware, which means you don't have to use assembly language for such an interface. Okay. So this can be used for the uh, easy for ETL. ETL means extract, transfer, and load the data from the data source. You can load the data at the time. You can use the this hybrid SQL. You learn from and scope. So if you have the existing database, you can the relational you can use the scope or other data source like the uh, log data or text data. You can use the from. And even if you have the local. In your local, if you have the data source, a test file, you can use the, this one also. So you can directly access the which head. Also, another benefit of the, the hybrid is it works with, integrate with HBase that we are going to uh, learn today. HBase head is a file system, okay, HDFS. There is no functionality like the database, but sometimes you want to the access specific data from HDFS, but HDFS support sequential search, not random accessing the data. Or some you want to update the data or delete the data, but which is not allowed in HDFS. So to support such a thing, there is a database system that is called HBase, but it's a half database because so the hierarchical level is based on HDFS. Okay, so we will see later. But the good news is you can use the high to access the data in the HBase. Okay, also you can learn the query, your query, material query using map videos. You don't have to worry about the map videos, it's automatically 
uh, excluding the map radius. Okay. First, let's approach the user defined function. So, user, the built in function is like the integer, okay, data type, okay, integer or float and whatever we will see what kind of the built in uh, data type are supported in height. In addition to that, this, the, you can define user defined function through the Java object. So, high follow the SQL 92, it's, uh, in other words, it's a SQL 2, okay? So there, as you are learned in the advanced database course, there are standard. That is uh, one of the reasons why SQL is uh, po powerful, because it uh, follows the standard. No matter what DBMS system you use, it follows the same syntax, okay? Slightly different. Even though they follow the standard, they support, basically support the standard. In addition to that standard, each system has their own feature. Okay? But mainly, the, you or all your program is based on the, such a standard. That is a simple to standard. It's a traditional. It's a mostly, the, if you know what you know about the SQL is based on the SQL 2 standard. Then in 99, so there is another standard. It's the SQL 3. Power I up. think it's power up. Yeah. <laughs> mm. so let's go ahead. Okay, so it's a uh, SQL to standard, but it's a loosely following. Loosely following means the whole relational database management system should follow, at least support the such a standard. However, this hive is part of the idea, they don't want to. The stick on that standard, they just some of the feature they borrow for them. Otherwise, it complicated, it's not like the standard, they just throw away, which is the loose list. Which means if you already took the advanced database course, pretty much you can understand most of the feature supported by the uh, hive. Okay? Also, it's uh, similar as uh, SQL, like they support the transaction, the transaction by the law. Okay, and also it has the materialized view, but actually it's not materialized view, it's uh, we will the uh, additional the view, and also it supports the index. Okay, it can index through the HBase. So there's no index data structure in the HDFS, but through the uh, HBase it will support. So, but it's limited. It's not like the PowerPoint. Where the like the B plus three index in the uh, relational database, not like that. It's a limited index structure, but still works. Okay. So, as I mentioned here, this the hive is on top of HDFS MR. And one more thing that you need to keep your mind is it doesn't have the data structure. Unlike the relational database, it's just the interface, but it needs more information about to understand the HDFS file. For example, when you have the full.txt file that upload to this one, this through the hive, it should be visible as relational model like that. Otherwise, you cannot use the select from where. Okay? So it should be it should be considered as the table style. And this is a kind of column. But this is not a column in HDFS. So you need more information to understand HDFS, HDFS file as the looks like a relational database key. Mm -hmm. Okay? To do that, you need metadata. Metadata. Metadata, meta store. Let's go to the uh, meta store. So usually this meta store is not data itself, but it's a so more information to understand your HDFS file. What is the table? The yeah. Yes, kind of the structure, the schema only. 
Okay, it looks like a schema. As a default, if you access the data through the hive, it will, this metadata will be stored at the local. Uh -huh. Who do the client? Who do the? The client. When you use the hive, you can install only the hive. Okay. okay. Then access the HDFS. At the time, this metadata will be created, meta store created in your local, which is client level. But sometimes I want to share same metadata with other user, like the relational model. At the time, you can create, you can use metadata as the relate with the relational model, like the MySQL. You can store the metadata schema only in the relational model. Then through this one, many users can access the HDFS. And all of that's like virtual. This is not virtual, this is just metadata. Yeah. Meta source, schema. So to explain about this one. But if you access it separately, it can be viewed as the full table and one column, but other users can consider this one as a three column, four column. So how can they actually and this is in the uh, Hive, right, Professor? Yeah, in Hive. Is there a specific command that make you like use the same template? We will see. Yeah. So how to uh, see that one? So that is a basic architecture. So it can be shared. So when, if you want to share your uh, so the Hive, the data structure, you need to use the separate database. Usually the MySQL is used, or sometimes you can use the Derby database. Uh, which is not def which is a default database, but uh, mostly MySQL is used. Okay. And also this. Um, okay, I think that is so. Data uh, in the Facebook. Facebook actually they develop such a high because their data system database is uh, bigger and bigger, but it takes a long time to access what they implement their system. So. Hi, sure. It's called the Hive Cure. Hive Cure consists of the parser. What is a parser? Parser is the for example, you serve the select from where this SQL computer cannot actually understand as it is. So it's converted. Okay? It should be converted yeah. into the machine code. Before that, they need to take out some tokens, what is the reserved word, whether their syntax are correct. That is called the parsing. So parser will parse the uh, hybrid word, and also it has a planner. Planner means after parsing, it will create automatically. That is the core part of the hybrid word, high. So this SQL should be converted into the map reduced program. Okay, but probably you expect that this converting should be done automatically. There are a bunch of different ways to convert to access the data. Okay, so like the, for example, query optimizer in relational model. Uh, usually I uh, use the example of the traveling from Bridgeport to the Manhattan. So how many different ways? There are so many different ways. You can use train, you can use the highway, you can use the, even the uh, airport. Yeah. Going to the New Haven, take the data. But you want to face this way. That is query optimizer. Similarly, there are a bunch of different ways of coding map reduce for this one. So you need to find best one, best performance. That is called the plan. It's like optimizer. So which one is the best one? Optima, you need to optimize. That is a key point. Not always that's true. So this is, is also good the research point. Whether if you are interested in the relational database, query optimizer, whether this high query is optimized or not. Is there any better way to optimize? So planner and optimizer. Then finally execute. Execute is learning that they will create the jar file. The internally, then submit it and get the data and return. 
That is the type trap. And this one should work with the metadata, meta store. Sometimes it can be the external, the dependent system, such as MySQL, or the, if you uh, use locally, it can be the local store. So meta store, when you uh, install the high component as a ecosystem, you need to uh, during the installation, it's just like the other tarball extract on extract the uh, tarball, but you need to set up the meta store. And it is a key point during the installation. Uh, there are many the column types supported. Okay, so first the tiny integer uh, that require only one byte small integer. Actually, the, even though uh, the most of the if which require one byte or two byte is the user. Most of the system support the four byte the integer, but most of the data is not big. So to say the storage one byte, two byte, tiny or small integer is by regular integer require four byte and the big integer is because it's a big data sometimes it's a much bigger size so you could use the big integer. Boolean flow, double string, binary, time stamp, even array and map and the struct, the union type, so most of them are supported in the uh, hive. The hive could, just like the uh, relational database model, it supports both BDL and DM. The data definition language to create or alter or drop the table, so you can use data definition language there, syntax, Follow the SQL2 standard. Okay, pretty much you already know about that. Data manipulation language uh, is the when you the insert or delete and retrieve the data, you can use that. The data in the data manipulation language, in addition to the SQL2 standard, it has the more command that is the load data. Load data. From data source, external data source, you can insert the data by creating, after creating the tape, the file and metadata. Okay, there are more options. In the sometimes you can uh, override if the file exists. You can drop the file and drop the so it should work with both the HTFS and meta source. So you can delete, then insert the data. Also, you can have the partition table. So it supports the horizontal partition. Horizontal partition means that when you have the table, you can the partition by range. Okay. So for example, January, February, uh, then by the week or by the month or something like that. And on the other hand, there might be the vertical partition which is not supported here. Mostly the uh, most of partition in the relational database model is the horizontal partition. It supports the horizontal partition also. However, in your 
if you work within the edge space, it can, the data can be partitioned by something, horizontal partition, for what? Block. You can use a specific block for that. Okay? Like for example, this block is for January data. This block is for February data. This block is for March. Then there is a H-based region server. This region server has the pointer of the, this one. Then using the high QR, you can access the data. Then so you can access only specific partition. The number of the reducer. We mean the block. You don't have to worry about the memory yeah. reducer here. Okay? We are not going to discuss how this query language high query converted into the map reduce programming. Okay? So instead, we will see only the hybrid interface. Okay. And also, you can insert the data uh, from the existing file system. Okay. And hybrid query also su uh, support most of the fun many of the function in the SQL two to access the data. It support the group by. Okay. And it also, in addition to the group by, it has a sort by, and this with by, plus a by, order by, okay? And then, definitely, this query language will convert it into the map reduce script, and also it supports the user defined, and many of the, most of the people would love the high thread because it supports join operation, okay? One of the big problems, of uh, using the HDFS in the method use, it doesn't support the join. You need to put in your source code, it's not easy. Okay? To join, you need to consider something, the buffer, and uh, you need to how to join, how to combine. So it's not easy in your if you read the pattern of the method use program that I uploaded, there are one of the pattern is to join him. Okay? However, this one support the join, which is, that doesn't mean it's automatically done, everything, best performance, no. It have QR type component to support such a automatic converting the map with this program, that doesn't mean it's the best performance, even though they have the planner and optimize. So you should uh, check whether this is, it. anyway, their data is stored in HDFS, right? HDFS is not good for join operation, okay? But it, it's good for sequential search, right? So you should be careful when you are using the join in the high. If you don't expect the same performance as the relational database. And also it supports the lateral view. It's a similar as the materialized view. It's additional view. The reason is that because it's a read-only data and also sequence searching. What if you want to change the data? Hive cannot, even though Hive support the insert or update the data, that doesn't mean they can update the data directly in HDF. If we can do that, we already done. Instead, they keep the loop data side. On the side, they update the data instead of accessing the original data, they let direct and the change in memory the memory. data. It's not, some of the information is a memory, but eventually it's a separate file. Oh. We will see in the uh, HBase or so. Okay. Uh, PIP, it's the same thing in the PIP. PIP is not like the SQL style, but it's a script style. So let me show you one of the examples of the PIP, okay? Load the txt file, the foo.txt file, okay? Then as text format and character array. You can understand. First, read the data. Open the htf.txt file and as text. Okay? As text is a character array. It's automatically line by line. And read the data and pour into 
A. The kind of variable. Yeah. Okay? So put it's called the map. Okay. The kind of map. So their data structure is different from the relational model structure, but quite similar. Okay. It has the The pattern, the purchasing pattern by the week, then you need to call. Right? You know the, your manager do not know they can do that. So as long as you understand how data is flow, flow yeah. you can make the program. Just a simple, similar keyword. That's it. So this is a very, very powerful. Okay? The uh, interface language you see in the header. Uh, what about the the performance, is it different between so, HIF and PIC? I mean, HIF and PIC, can we combine uh, them? I it's heard that the, this one, the PIC is uh, faster, the high, but still, there are characteristics. Okay? For example, this one, schema is not saved in the marriage implicitly. You should define the schema. In explicit, uh, implicitly every time. 
over here. But here, you can save the schema in the Nevada store by creating table. Oh, you can next, you don't have to do that. Yeah. So there are the oh. pros and cons. Okay? However, both of them are slower than or is not Nevada no use. No use. No use. Okay? So it's from Yahoo. So this one is from the Facebook. So it's a script language based on data flow. That's the key. Okay? So it really quick. When you learn the, this one, this, you can just submit this. This one, it will compile and create the MapReduce program and execute it. So it's easy. Make the MR program easy, much easier. And also there is the optimization. However, I believe optimization in the high optimization, the peak is not perfect. So there might be opportunity to uh, the research on the how to optimize the render. Okay. Also, this this pig Latin is doesn't have to be HDFS, right? You can work with local file system. So during the implementation, you can work, you can code the, this one. Uh, I heard the read the article. Actually, the Yahoo can say 10 to 12 times the implementation develop time. So it's using this one. So save a lot of money. So comparing the pig and hive, hive is SQL. Why the pig is the script language? It's based on the pig Latin script language. There is no schema. So in your source code, you should define such a thing. Okay? However, in the high, you can explicitly say that such a schema like the relation of the mm. The This one supports the partition table by creating the table by partition, month or whatever you want, or hash, but this one does not. So, because it just read the file as it is, okay? Like the, their own data structure. Mm. It doesn't have any the Latin server, okay? Because it's, uh, their schema is inside the source code. However, the high they can create a meta store, the server. Then, both of them support the join. So you will see, I will show you the, another example of the uh, join in the pig writing. Okay. Both of them support the shell scripting. It's a, so if you are interested, if you are familiar with the shell script, it's much uh, faster. Mm -hmm. So, for example, um, So we have the user information in the HDFS file. Load the user. So we do, what we want to do, uh, so there's another file, it's a pages. So we have two HDFS files. The user, web user, and pages that each user access. Yeah. Okay, so we try to uh, retrieve the top five most visited by Top five web pages most visited web page by user. Okay. So, for example, so we I have the twenty users in our system. So I visited the a dot html, e dot html, c dot html most visited. You may have. So this one has the user information. This one is a page information. Okay. Then I try to retrieve the top five the pages by the user mm -hmm. using MR programming. How can you do that? That's not degree. So there you just yeah. the true file. Yeah. You yeah. need to it's like uh, first of all you have another uh -huh. that will read the data. Read the data what? You said the, how many pages for each user? What is it? So five top five. Top five user who visits the per world. Per user. Top five pages per user. So you have the user information. So you need to 
in your first MR point, you need to access the yeah. user. Yes. This, 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 this is the user. So you should keep the output, and you need to access the pages. And the, in your partition read, then combine, combiner by what? User. Okay, okay, then for each user, and so to like that. You need to combine. So there are several, probably five or six sometimes. The yeah, MR codec might require. Okay? Not simple. Cheating is, uh, is yeah. difficult. Yeah. So, however, using this one, first, you can load. Using load, load means a read the HDF first file. Then, you can filter. User ID. If you, in this case, the, the, what, there is another requirement, age 18 to 25. Okay, I need the user information about 18 to 20. So you can filter by user. Okay, then the can combine into the join. You can join. There is a join command. I will show you later. Then count the click or visited number of visited. And before that, you need to group by URL, the pages. Then you will have the a.html 10 times, b.html several times. Then, next, count, click, read this number. How many? How many and, numbers, yeah. Okay.